Previously we saw how a densitometer is used in a general sense for sensitometry. But in order to get the most out of it, you need to make sure it's calibrated. So today we're going to calibrate my X-Rite 810 model. To calibrate this machine, you need to have a calibration card for transmission from X-Rite. Now it has particular values and the values you get are going to be determined by the card that you have. So my values may not be your values, so you need to go by your card. So to begin the calibration, hit Cal twice and is now saying visual high and I have a value of 2.96. So looking at my card, I have Cal high and my visual is 2.96. If it did not read that, uh, if it did not display that on the machine, then I would need to change the values and I would change them by either pushing HDLD to go down and Cal to go up. So oh, the other way around, HDLD goes up, Cal goes down. Now, since my values already match, I can move on to the next step, which is pushing color, and now my red values. So I would enter the red values from my card, which is 2.99, and I'm already there. So we have color again. Green values should be 2.93 for my card. And blue is 2.94. Once we have all of those matched, if they did not, I would adjust as necessary. Then you hit color one more time and it says read transmission no film. So I'm going to read with nothing in it, hold until data, and there we go. Now read transmission standard high. So putting in the piece of the card marked Cal High. I'm going to read. And I get 2.99 for red, 2.93 for green, and 2.93 for blue. My card reads 2.99, 2.93, and 2.94 for the blue, but I'm not too worried about being just off on the blue. That's within tolerances to be 0.01. To calibrate for reflection, you're going to need a reflection calibration card from x -Rite. It is a piece of metal with a ceramic coating that has a gray, white, and black patch, and it will have values on the back. And these values are what we're going to use to calibrate the densitometer. So, Set the densitometer to reflection mode. It'll change from T to R and then hit Cal twice. And we're going to change the visual low to match Cal low on the card. In my case, 0 0.07. So I will change this as needed to 0 0.07. Hit color. And now R low, 0 0.08 for my card. So I make sure this matches 0 0.08. Color, 0 0.07 for magenta. Again, I would adjust this until I reach that. Color one more time and match the blue, which is 0 0.07 for my card. Color one more time. And now we're going to read visual high, 1.82, so I match at 1.82, 1.78, we're already at 1.78, 1.81, we'll match that, and the blue channel, 1.81, 1.81, now read reference standard low. For a reflection densitometer, that would be the white
And you read until you get data. Then read the black. And then we should read, and these should mostly match what you're reading. So for the black, I'm getting 1.78. This is reading 182. You wanna double check it. There we are, 1.78, 1.81, 1 1.81, 1.81, but I am getting 1.90. color and there we are with the visual I should get 0 0.07 and I do the black I read 1.82 1.82 and for linearity the gray should be 0 0.96 0.96. We'll double check the red, green, and blue values. Now I'm getting 0.08 for red, 0.07 for green, and 0.07 for blue, and I match. For the high values, we'll double check. I'm getting 1.78 for red, 1.81 for green, and 1.76 for blue, a little lower than 81, but I'm not too concerned about that. And then for gray, I'm getting 0 0.96 for red, 0 0.95 for green, that's correct. And for blue, 0 0.97, I'm getting 0 0.95. So my blue does slowly drift slightly off, but not enough for me to worry too much about. So that is calibration of the x A10 for both transmission and reflection. And remember, this is for color negative. The 811 would be for color positive as well and may have a different calibration target for that, but most likely uh, it's just a setting for status A filters instead of the color negative status M filters. So that's it for the 810 calibration. And if I get into other machines in the future, we'll calibrate those just to make sure it's clear on how to do so. So thanks for watching this short video on calibrating an 8 x-ray 810 and we will see you next time.